वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर ग्रुप 18 दैट इज इनर्ट गैस एलिमेंट्स सो वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद ग्रुप 18 दैट इज योर नोबल गैसेस एंड वी हैव डन सेटिंग क्वेश्चंस इन नोबल गैसेस सो वी हैव लेफ्ट वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू मोर टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स वन वुड बी द कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग रिएक्शंस एज वेल एज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ जीनोन कंपाउंड्स लेट्स कम बैक एंड सॉल्व व्हाट इज व्हाट डू दे गिव अस दस हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ एक्ससीएफ6 लीड टू रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन ओके सो आई एम फाइंडिंग वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट ऑब्जर्विंग द क्वेश्चंस Uh, or not watching the video where there is a question please remember every question i post that means that is very very important for your board exam board uh, board tries to question you based on concepts only not direct questions when it is a direct question you are trying to watch the video no that should not be your way of studying the questions which are given <coughs> like uh, why is this having higher bond angle why is this have more basic why is this less acidic all such reasoning questions are very important for you so please watch those videos also So, does hydrolysis of XCF6 lead to redox reaction? So, what basically is redox reaction? Redox reaction is something where both oxidation as well as reduction should occur in the same reaction. Done. Or they give me <coughs> hydrolysis of XCF6. What did we see yesterday in the previous video? XCF6 when it combines with water because they asked me hydrolysis. I'm showing you hydrolysis product. So, when XCF6 when it combines with water, it's going to form. We have two conditions. XCF6 combining with one water molecule in the same way. XCF6 combining with two water molecules. So when it combines with one water molecule, what do I say? The product formed is XCOF4 plus HF. This is what I said. When you combine with two water molecules, you are going to form a product. <coughs> I showed it XCO2F2. I showed this also yesterday. HF. Then now I have to balance. So here already four are there, so this will be four. Here hydrogen is two, so two. Now they are asking in this XCF6 hydrolysis product, is it is it a redox reaction? So let us compare. Now this is XCF6. Now here I am picking up this product XCOF4. I am picking up this product XCO2F2. Let us calculate xenon oxidation state. If there is increase or decrease, then I'll say whether it is redox. If there is increase, increase in oxidation state, oxi uh, oxidation number that is oxidation, decrease in oxidation state, reduction. So if there is increase or decrease, I'll show that it is a redox reaction. But let us see and cal first calculate. Now in this particular compound, when I have to see for xenon, this is six, isn't it? Fluorine minus one into six. So what is xenon oxidation state? Plus six. So it is like this. Now let's compare here. Now in this particular case, when I have to calculate the oxidation state of xenon, let us say this is X. Now <coughs> here oxygen here is if I have to take it as valency of oxygen is minus two, right? Now plus of fluorine valency is how much? Minus one. So minus one into four. So X is equal to how much? Plus six. Here also it is plus six. Now let me compare and come back and see. Here X is this one. Xenon is X. Now oxygen is. If I have to take, okay, let us start with the valency minus two into two. Minus two is a charge, and two are the number of atoms. Into minus one is the valency of fluorine, and how many are there? Two. So total X is equal to plus six. So everywhere, what are you observing? In XCF six also it is plus six. XC also this also it is plus six. This also it is plus six. So what is the conclusion now? Xenon on hydrolysis does not show redox reaction because all are of the same oxidation state. That is the conclusion of the answer. So we, what will you write? Does hydrolysis of xenon uh, lead to redox reaction? You will find this answer and write no hydrolysis of xenon does not lead to A redox reaction because there is no change in oxidation state. You can write that because there is no change in oxidation. Simple, right? So the answer is done. Let's come back to this. Now, this such questions are quite common in inert gas compounds. Complete the following. Now, simple. Now, see here, nothing to be done. This is XeF4 and O2F2. Simple. Try to add this here. Okay, completely add or take this fluorine and add here. What do you get? XeF6. Basically, you have only one compound, O2F2. So you can easily write the product. Simple. Try to add this, and left over is what oxygen. 
done now total xcf4 plus 2 xcf6 xenon is balanced because they asked me to balance the reaction and oxygen is like that there's nothing to balance so done isn't it let's come back and see <coughs> now in this particular uh, uh, compound this is hydrolysis of xcf2 so simple right now first important take out hf look here this is your hf what do you get you get hf this bond is broken after that what is left here oxygen oxygen is diatomic so try to make oxygen what else is left here left with xenon that's it now let us balance the reaction h2 and f2 so let us write 2hf done oxygen is <coughs> now here it, it is two oxygens so try to make two done now how many are there there are four uh, isn't it so two twos are four so let us make four when this is 4, <coughs> fluorines are 4, so what should I do? I am going to add 2 xenon. So, xenon has become 2 to 2. Now, let me see whether I have balanced the whole reaction or not. Right. Xenon is 2, 2 here, done. Fluorine is 2, 2 is a 4. Fluorine is 4. Hydrogen is 2, 2 is a 4, 4. Oxygen here is 2. Here too. So, this is a balanced reaction, simple reaction. Remember, I already gave you hydrolysis products of xenon. This is one more type of completing the reaction. Just see when you have O2F2, try to add XCF4 to XCF4 to F6. You will get the product. The leftover is oxygen. Here, <coughs> simple take out HF, the leftover is oxygen, and the leftover is xenon, and balance the reaction. 